哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。Universal Pictures presents. Now we've got that little horsey on the screen, the unicorn, like walking, you know, galloping across the clouds. I think this is a tri-star film, isn't it? Yeah. Here comes the song. <laughs> you love how excited I get. I'm sorry, I, like Candyman means a lot to me, man. I don't know. Like the choirs and that. Clive Barker, again, Clive Barker's an absolute legend. He's done another of my favourite films, um, The Nightbreed. So we'll probably cover that at some point on the channel. Yeah, The Nightbreed was another one of my special movies growing up. Helped me through like a lot of dark darkness in my head, you know. He doesn't say it, but it should be. The theme song is Helen, It Was Always You. The reincarnation of his love, Caroline Sullivan. Came for you and you. And here it comes, music box. Oh. She always kind of had the hearts for Billy because he was like a bad boy. Ruthie May McCoy like story. I read that story. So yeah, Ruthie, Ruthie May. Isn't that the one that's the lady in the flats, the block of flats tells? I don't know the inside story of that whole thing. Have you ever heard of Candyman? Question is, would you say this in the mirror? I don't know if I would. I still haven't. He'll appear behind you, be beating down your neck. Nope, I'm not doing it. Do you want to try it? Is his name Billy? Is that his name? Billy? Yeah, go on, Billy. I'm not here. Go downstairs. I have a surprise for you. You're, st you're crazy doing that. She turned out the lights. <laughs> Ugh. Split her open with his hook. Billy got away. My, uh, my roommate's boyfriend knows him. Crazy stuff. We all hear these kind of folklore tales when we're growing up, but nah. It's true, sick guy. The babysitter just roasted the kid like it was a turkey or something. I used to really fancy this woman. I can't remember her name. That's it. We're done. All right. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's me, innit? Trying it with like the mixed race woman. <laughs> you idiot. So the big question is, guys, yeah, do you like the Mandalorian with little Grogu? Because, you know, oh, oh, nearly spilt that. That would have been bad, wouldn't it? That would have been really bad. But if you want to watch The Mandalorian Season 3 with me, feel free to join our YouTube membership or subscribe to our Patreon. The link is down in the comments. And if you join, I'll send you pictures of my mum. Thanks. Does anybody remember the craze for the pet baby alligators? When they got too large to keep, people flushed them down the toilet. Alligators in the sewer story, yeah. In Miami, they went blind and albino from living in the dark. <laughs> I always hated this woman, the, the girl. Now why would Danny and Diane both be suffering from the same delusion in two cities around? Because it's real. No, it's, it's, it's round the campfire. It's bedtime <laughs> stories. Yeah, they said that about Jeez. Freddy Krueger. Look what happened to all them kids. They said he weren't real. Do you know what I mean? That's lunch. Yeah, I've got a question, yeah? You see this thing that happens here? Yeah, Virginia Madsen's beautiful, isn't she? You see this woman that Trevor, her man, the teacher, you see the girl, this, this woman here that he's flirting with, did she know that there was something going on, like, between them there? Do you know what I mean? How you know everybody? Creme de la creme, Harold, Diane, Dan, Stacy. Stacy. So, keep up the good work. Yeah, Thank you for your contribution. All Stacys are dangerous. Take note. Yeah, she was always suspect, like, you know what I mean? She could barely look me in the eyes, Trevor, and I swear she was blushing. Because she's madly in love with me. Hey, women, do you think he's nice, this fella? He's got Virginia Madsen, yeah? Why would he cheat on her? Man, I love these, these two ladies, the cleaning ladies. Candyman, huh? Everybody's scared of him once it get dark. He live over at Cabrini, my friend told me about him. This, this lady I love. I love this lady that comes in. Tell her what you told me about the candy man. I think her name was Ruthie Jean. She said there's somebody coming through the walls. And they didn't believe her. Uh, so they changed the name a bit for the film, right? But when they finally got there, she was dead. She was killed with a hook. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it is. I read it in the papers. Candyman killed her. I don't know nothing about that. 
Yeah, my two girls here. I love these two women. Awesome. And there we go with the first rendition of the piano theme, um, Helen's theme. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of candy, man. What's he gonna do? No, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm not scared. Shut up. <laughs> Now that's Cabrini Green, not that you'd recognize it today. I won't even drive past there. Heard a kid got shot there the other day. That's one thing I'm glad about. We don't have guns here in the UK, not really. This was the 90s. Nothing's changed, is it? Women sitting around, talking rubbish, drinking wine. Still the same, isn't it? That is amazing. <gasps> what? There's somebody in there. I saw a light go. Be honest, would you climb through the, the mirror thing? Would you go through there? I wouldn't. No. Well, you don't believe all that nonsense anyway, do you? I don't. No. No, no, no. Does it count if I say it in a, in a mirror? Like in a, a, a phone? Oh, you chicken. No. <laughs> you have to do it five times. Not doing it. Oh I'm sorry. <laughs> You're saying you're too fat to fit through the, the, the mirror thing. Oh, it was shot on location in there. That's what I wanted to know, yeah. That's why I've always got... Wait. I've always got it, my... No messing about, mate. No. I didn't jump. Oh, Trevor. See, he's only home late because he was off flipping, keeping that girl with uh, Stacy in detention. This music, oh, so amazing, isn't it? You used to sit in front of a mirror and do that and call him it. You are crazy. Let's just go back and we can write a nice little boring thesis regurgitating all the usual crap about urban legend. Go back. You're doing the right thing. Don't go go anywhere. Just go home. Cup of coffee. Just chill out. Even I know there's certain places you don't hang and you don't mess around. This. You don't go around. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. They think we're cops. They're not going to follow us. Same over here in London. There's certain places in London you just don't go. But I think that's what makes this movie again so special. The way it's filmed, where it's shot, everything about it, it's just... Sweets to... Sweets, sweets to the sweet. I came for you. Sorry. Jesus, Helen. And she plays, obviously plays the mum in the, the remake. She's the mum. Of the guy who's bitten in the second movie or the remake, sorry. I wouldn't go in there. Nope. It's all right. There's nothing to see. Oh, it actually is the same as her apartment, isn't it? The layout, because of yeah, the mirror. I'm just gonna go through, and when I get back, we're out of here. You gotta be kidding. Listen. I'd love to see what Cabrini Green looks like now. Is it just called Cabrini or is it Cabrini Green? Hurry up. Be careful. This is no way. Would I go in there? We got five minutes. Okay, five. Do you see that shot there as well? Even that little shot, the fr the way it was framed with the light just on her eyes to focus on her eyes. That's so cool. I keep, like, when you watch horror movies on your own, man, I keep, like, thinking I'm hearing something in here. That's why I've got one ear off. Like, I keep hearing things. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. And there he is. The one and only...
you know, I read some stuff about this earlier on as well. Eddie Murphy was originally supposed to play the Candyman. Sandra Bullock was supposed to play Helen. And as much as I like both of them, I don't think it would have been the same. Like, I love both of them. I love both of them, but I wouldn't change anything about this. Yeah, this is the boy. Right, so the remake of Candyman, this this is the, the, the guy in it. He's a beautiful little boy. All I, got. I'm Anne Marie. <laughs> I mean, if you like, want me to do the newer Candyman and we could do a watch along, I don't mind. But I just love this one so much more. Hey, what you doing? Let me help you. Oh. They all want to know. I heard her screaming. I heard her right through the walls. I dial 911. That's scary, isn't it? I'm scared. Scared for my child. He never gonna catch him. Candyman. Do you know what's really weird is I don't like psychological horrors. And this is a psychological horror. It's not really like Elm Street, is it? It's not like Friday the 13th. It's more the thought process of it all. And this is up there. I don't know why I love this so much. It's just something special. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just love it. Actually, Purcell, we're about to bury you. I'm sure we're going to have something for you in a week or so. It's just that we only went to Cabrini today. You know, another thing I didn't realise, and they're always saying, see, Candy there weren't country. strong women in movies. Look how she was back then. Even back then in the early 90s, she was still kicking ass. I mean, you do know the story, don't you? No. <laughs> I hate this guy. Absolute. Then how are you going to bury me? Oh, don't worry, son, you get yours. Maybe not in this movie, but... He had a prodigious talent as an artist. Well, it was in this latter capacity that he was commissioned by a wealthy landowner to capture his daughter's virginal beauty. Weren't a virgin for long, was she? Fell deeply in love and she became pregnant. Poor candy man. It still upsets me, man. It's just, a, you know, it's just... He paid a pack of brutal hooligans to do the deed. Mm. Burnt his body on a giant pyre, scattered his ashes over Cabrini Green. Yeah, my sister's terrified of this movie, by the way, and I always scare her with it. Maybe you can help me out. I wanted to find out about that woman who got killed. Do you know anything about that? Her name was Ruthie Jean. I used to love this little boy. I'm not a cop, so nobody's going to get in trouble. I can't say nothing. A candy man will get me. <laughs> He's so sweet, wasn't he? You used to fall asleep watching horror movies. That's what I'm saying. That's what I do a lot of the time. You're crazy walking here on your own. But I don't scare too easy either, Jake. You could just show me where he is. I'll make you a promise. It'll be our secret. Unless you're too scared. Something that makes these movies so special. Again, it's like the original um, Friday the 13th. This... Elm Street character development. I know the movies can be dated, but that, like this little kid, Jake, you're giving him time on screen and you're like, this little dude's cool. Do you know what I mean? Whereas now everything's so fast paced, click, 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 click. There's no time for anything. Like I never forgot this little kid, ever. Jake, such a cool little dude. A boy got killed there. <laughs> I still get scared as well when I see um, public toilets like this. I get scared. I still like look He's around. <laughs> and the boy, he need to go, you know, to the bathroom. His mom get mad at him. Send him across the street. <laughs> There's a big tough guy. He runs over to check it out. He's lying on the floor in a pool of blood, holding himself. Oh dear. They found it floating in a toilet. Ah. Can't fix that. Better off, dear. Did Candyman do this? This is what I always thought was crazy, yeah? So little Jake has just told her Candyman did this to a little boy in that public bathroom. And she's like, yeah, I'm just going to go in there now. Why? You just wouldn't do it, would you? No, I'll take a photo from outside. Fuck it, I'm going home. Yeah, I bet all you Americans watching it are like, yeah, it's nothing, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sweets to the sweet. Oh, 
Ain't this the part where that um that gang walk in? Here you're looking for Candyman, bitch. So you wouldn't go in there, Michelle. I bet you would. Nah. I'm like that with public bathrooms because of this film and the other one, you know when you see like a forest with like massive trees, I think of Friday the 13th and I look around and I think um, Crystal Lake and I'm like, nah. <laughs> Candy man. Yeah, I think this is the part I remember. They, they all walk in the bathroom. Yeah. And I thought it was him. Like when I was a kid, I was like, this is the guy, maybe. I hear you looking, looking for Candyman, candy bitch. This, you know what? One thing, she's lucky that she made it out of that, you know? We hear you looking for Candyman, bitch. Step back. That's him. We hear you looking for Candyman, bitch. Step back. Check him out. I don't remember her eye looking that bad. That's awful, isn't it? Great prosthetics and makeup. You said it was our secret. You lied. What a performance by that little dude, man. Candy Mills, give me. What a performance. Bad man took his name so he could scare us. But now that he's locked up, everything's going to be okay. Candy Man ain't real. I still wouldn't say it in the mirror. I don't care if he ain't real. No, 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 it's much better. Look, see, it's much better today. Yeah, she kind of looks a bit like Madonna when she was younger, don't you think? You know, like, I suppose like mid to late 80s when she was doing like True Blue and um, Vogue like, and she had that short curly she blonde hair. She looks a bit like her there. You haven't eaten already, have you? No, of course not. He's telling lies, of course he's eating. He was eating out Stacey. <laughs> Sorry, 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 there's ladies present. I apologise, I've got to keep it. <laughs> Go on, Trev. I've been talking to some publishers, and there's a lot of interest since you made the local section. We're going to be published. This is one of my favourite bits, right? She's in the car park now, and you just hear... Here we go. I love it. I'm not into men like that, but let me just praise this dude a second. Helen. The bass in his voice. Helen. I came for you. I came for you. I'm the writing on the wall, the whisper in the classroom. Without these things, I am nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Do I know you? No. No. But you doubted me. No need to leave yet. Oh, I love him so much. Be my victim. Be my victim. Tony Todd is a legend, I agree. The one thing I didn't like what he did, though, he should never have hurt the Rottweiler. This is a naughty, naughty candy man. Oh, it's so disgusting, isn't it? Can't blame her for being crazy. I mean, her kid's gone. Oh, butcher's knife to the arm. Oh, hold it right there. Back away. Now. We've watched, what, 45 minutes an hour? He's not even in it yet. Not really. It's such a clever film. Take off your brassiere. <laughs> even this scene that she's doing with, like, removing the clothes, the way she's crying and how uncomfortable she is makes it so believable. Like the way she's shaking and everything, do you know what I mean? Can I please speak with Detective Lento? Remove your underwear. Yeah, yeah, give her props, man. What is she so good in this? Do you understand? Yes, but... You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? This detective is cold, isn't he? She discovered her dog with its head cut off, at which point you attacked her with a meat cleaver. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, the confusion and terror in her face. Where's the baby? I suppose I don't give her enough credit in the film because the film, when you think about it, it is 90% her performance, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. Would you like to have counsel? Yes or no? I would like to make a phone call. 
Sorry, sweetheart. Trevor isn't home. He's knees deep in Stacy. Yeah, he's smashing that right now, mate. Sorry, can't come to the phone. I've got one of the schoolgirls up against the wall. I've been arrested. I'm at the 18th district. Can you please come pick me up? What a piece of shit this guy is. 3 a.m. <laughs> she must have known at that point, Helen, like he's getting his end away with someone else. Meanwhile, we're watching this story, and underneath all of the layers of this film, Candyman, or Daniel, is drawn to her because of her resemblance to this woman that he fell in love with. Like, how did you get into that woman's apartment? Where's the baby? Do you know what I mean? Candyman screwed her. <laughs> Suspect was released this morning after questioning, and I guess we'll just have to follow this one as it develops. Mm. Do you think I did it? Nobody believes that. He's such a piece of crap, isn't he? But it's crossed your mind. Oh, look at he's so, again brilliant performance by this guy because I hate him. That you can recall that would help us substantiate your version of events. Yeah, I suppose you would think she's crazy. I... Okay, I was supposed to go over to the campus and pick up some work. I've got to go and pick up some work. Of course you have. He's going to see his girl. That's why he's got his nice little waistcoat on. Bastard. I was here. I was fast asleep. Of course he was fast asleep. I'm going to stand by you. We're going to get through this, okay? Hang on, are they actually married? Or is he just a boyfriend? Because then why didn't he just leave her? Like, if he doesn't want to be with her, why didn't he just leave her? Toss her. I feel awkward as well, like when I'm watching this and I see like a naked woman. If there's like an intimate scene, like I'm cool with it, but it's Helen. So like I feel bad looking at Helen naked because it's Helen. You don't, you don't feel bad. I do. I don't want to. I don't want to see Helen naked. It's like watching what's her name in um, what's that girl's name? Um, Nancy, who's the main girl in Nightmare on Elm Street. Like those or Ripley in Alien. Like I don't want to see like they might. Like legendary characters, but I don't want to see them like that. I think I'm old fashioned, don't I? What the hell's happened to me? He's behind you. She can see him there, so she's still gonna like zoom in and focus on him. You're mad. Yep. Open the blinds, turn all the lights on. Yo, did you hear that breathing? I've never heard that before. I think it's because I've got headphones on. Still got me. <laughs> yeah, that made me jump. I forgot about that one. <laughs> Keep away from me! I have the child. Her death would be a tale to frighten children. Oh yeah, yeah, this girl. Man, she got it bad, didn't she? His performance is so bloody good though. Bernadette. Bernadette, that's it. Helen? Oh dear. That says it all, the look on her face. I'm never going to look at this film again the same. Like, hearing it all on here, it's crazy. Trevor. 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 The state of her, man. All right, here's the joke. Sorry about this. Honey, where's Bernadette? She had to split. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love my own jokes. To live in other people's dreams. Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand, Candyman. Please, God, don't let him kill the baby. It's quite smart, though, really, what he did. He turns everyone against her. And before you know it, she's on her own. 
practically nothing to live for, is she? Because she's lost everything. <sighs> is this where he appears above the bed or something? No. Yep. He's like the ultimate manipulator. To be honest, I'd rather be asleep. I wouldn't want to be seeing that myself. Dr. Bird? Yeah. I hate this doctor. It's a writ of detention from the state attorney's office. Now for the past month. Month? Yes. Oh, so she's been out of her face for a whole month. Wow. Get me. We have to assess your ability to stand trial. You've been charged with first degree murder. I mean, I suppose at this point you'd think that, like you guys said, she's kind of crazy, you would think. But we know different. Why don't you tell me what happened in your apartment? Candyman came. He sliced up my friend, and now I'm here. Oh, and he chopped off that dog's head before. That weren't me. Or just say nothing. <laughs> The night you were admitted, did the killer appear to you? He's here! He's under the bed! Go! That gives me the same sort of vibes that Sarah Connor had in the original Terminator and Terminator 2, do you remember, with the doctors, the, the not believing her? I mean, as he convinced her that she did do it, you know, because looking at the screen and everything, you'd kind of doubt yourself, wouldn't you? I know one thing, that no part of me... No matter how hidden is capable of that, I can prove it. I can prove it. I mean, I hate this doctor anyway, but boy, does he get it. Candyman. Here he is. <laughs> Floating Candyman. That's such a great shot. Yeah, that's the name of the song, Floating Candyman. Such a brilliant scene. Yeah, but how are they going to explain that one, though? Seriously. How the heck did she get out of the, the things and kill the doctor? Run, Helen, run. She's so lucky to get out, isn't she? Does she get out? I can't remember what happens. Yeah, she does, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She walks into her apartment and, <laughs> and Stacey's in there all like painted. Wee! You're in the mental home. I'm banging your man. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, God, how do you deal with that situation, eh? I couldn't think of anything worse than coming home to find your partner with someone else. Bitch. What are you doing here? Don't touch the phone. She's got every right to be going crazy, isn't she? Poor flipping Helen. What's the matter, Trevor? Scared of something. Scared of something. Oh, iconic lines. What were you going to do, Trevor? Wait till I got out before you told me? I think we should call the hospital. I hate him. I think he was in The Walking Dead as well. I'm pretty sure he was one of the, the guys that was in Walking Dead. He's such a fucking coward, isn't he? I hate him so much. I just hate him. How could he do that to a fucking scumbag? Then as soon as soon as she walks out, he's all like, "Big man, yeah, I'll grab the phone." Fucking pussy, man. They will all abandon you. That's because you turned them all against her. All you have left is my desire for you. 
maybe this is what I need to do to be able to get a woman. I need to manipulate everyone around her to hate her. So she's only got me. Maybe that's what I need to do. Play the Candyman game. So pick out someone, get a group of friends and just turn them all against her. And then I can come in, save the day. <laughs> I always wondered where he was or where he went. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, where is his spirit when he when he hasn't been called? My giggle, my giggle's stupid. I use a lot. I'll have to let us know as well um, what you want me to do next. Like the next one we watch. Like if you've got some ideas, let us know. And there's the painting on the wall of Daniel. So did he know? I'm guessing she knew that he knew that she was there, kind of thing. I, I remember as well when Tony Todd filmed this. There was an interview of him saying he got stung by hundreds of bees because he had to have them all over him and like in his mouth and everything. This this song now. This is Return to Cabrini, this song. Th I love this so much. Surrender to me now, and he shall be unharmed. So amazing. <laughs> this song, bruv. Oh. oh, the organ on that is so amazing. I love it. You see that theme there, yeah? You remember the very beginning song, um, the where the car, the cars, the overhead view of the cars, yeah? That theme song there is different, but the organs, the bass of the organ has been removed and it's played with a choir instead on, on that particular part of the film, but it's the same theme song as the very, very beginning one, but I just love it. Yeah, Return to Cabrini. I don't know if I could have done that with all them bumblebees though, man. It's making me like itch now. And then she realises it was always you, Helen. Yeah, Helen, it was always you. A reincarnation of Caroline Sullivan here in the painting. It was always you, Helen. That's so tragic. That his love transcends the afterlife to hunt and look for her, to be reincarnated just so he could be with her again. Sorry, I'm an old romantic. Like, I can be all soppy and, and like gangster or whatever, but I, I just think that's so tragic. All he wanted was her. Such a great story, though. Hmm. I know it's just a film, but this could really be a true story when you look at it. It could be, was the was the Candyman real? Was it a fantasy in her mind? But it's such a, it's just such a great story. Our bones will soon be ashes and we shall never be separated again. <laughs> Basically sacrifices herself to save the kid. That's so upsetting hearing him say that, like, come back to me. Yeah, brilliant, Tony Todd. Brilliant. Again, look at the prosthetics and how she looks. That's no, no CGI. I think he kind of knew the kid, didn't he? Kind of. Did they all know in the end that it was because she came out on fire? Did she, you know what I'm saying? They all knew that it wasn't her. My God, look at that. 
this is one of my favourite scenes in movies. I've never forgotten with them all, all coming to the funeral. She knew it. she came and she saved the kid. She sacrificed herself for him, do you know what I mean? And you can see the look of disdain in their eyes. And he still doesn't get it, Trevor. Just an amazing shot, just amazing. And now he acts like an absolute idiot. I miss her, I miss her. If you couldn't respect and love her in life, how can you do it in death, you know what I mean? No, I'm okay, I'll eat a little bit later. I wish she got it. <laughs> this Stacy hated her. Reminiscing on what you had. A good woman. Piece of shit. I'm sorry, but why were these two women fighting over this guy? Jesus Christ, I can't even get one gal, and my guy's got... Whatever. What's the matter, Trevor? Scared of saying? Here we go. Helen. What's, What's the name, matter, Trevor? Trevor? Scared of saying? Scared of something. <laughs> Have that, you mother... Well done, Helen. My God, Trevor! Trevor! Here comes the scream. Do you know what? I'm just going to let it roll for a bit because of... Oh, Z Zander Berkeley played Trevor, yeah. His performance was great. Yeah, I'm just going to let this roll for a little bit because I just love this song so much. It was always you, Helen. I'm the writing on the wall, the whisper in the classroom. Without these things, I am nothing. Such a great film, isn't it? Yeah, that was really good. I'm glad to have watched that again. It was a different experience watching it with the headphones on. Again, because you just hear so much more. There was that part with the mirror in her, her flat. And you could hear all breathing before she goes up to the mirror and opens it. All you could hear all breathing and that, which I've never heard before because you don't hear it on the like the speakers and that. That will always remain one of my favourite. I say it is a horror movie, but it's just, it's just something special about it, isn't there? Candyman 1992. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Don't know what to say. I can't really say anything more than I love it. And I'm now going to chill out in the silence and hope that Candyman don't get me. <laughs> Why did I do this late night? I might put on a Disney movie like Dumbo or something. That will calm me down. All right. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gents. Peace. Are they still here? Hi. Hi. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. If you want to hit the like button, it would really help this video because then more people might watch because no one watches my videos. We've got more videos like that one up there. Yeah. You could watch this one up there. We could come back later, but please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.